Hello students, welcome to video lessons. Today we are going to deal with the topic tenses. There are two important things we should focus on when we learn tenses. One is structure of tenses, another one rules of tenses. In this particular lecture, we focus on structure of tenses. Structure of tenses is more important to understand tenses. So here I start with structure of tenses with an example. Here there is a sentence, I studied the lessons yesterday. Here this sentence is in a past tense. How we understand this sentence in a past tense? There is a word, one particular word studied comes there. This particular word mentions that this is in past tense. Now you take this separate word studied. This is a verb. This is a verb. Now you take this word and analyze. Studied comes from did plus study. This combination of two words changes into studied. Here now particularly analyze did plus study. Study only conveys the action of the sentence and did conveys the tense of the sentence. So when we particularly focusing on this sentence, uh, not studied mentioning the tense, only did mentioning the tense. So very important thing is did. So what is did? This particular verb comes under helping verb. So we should learn helping verb before learning tenses. What are helping verbs? There are basically three types of helping verbs. One is do verbs, another one be verbs, another one have verbs. Do verbs, there are three do verbs, do, does and did. What are be verbs? There are five different be verbs, is, are, am, was, were. What are have verbs? Have, has, had. So totally these 11 uh, helping verbs uh, play major role in a tenses. So we should be very thorough with these 11 words. First we take do verbs. As I mentioned, there are three different do verbs. One is do, another one does, another one did. Here do and does comes under present tense and did comes under past tense. Do and does present tense, did comes under past tense. Now we take a present tense. For plural subjects we use do and for a singular subjects we use does. Here I have given a pronoun for a clear understanding for singular subjects. For example, pronouns like he, she and it we use does. And for plural forms, I, I comes under plural here, I, we, you and they, it comes under plural verbs, so it takes do. At the same time, when you come to past tense, we use generally did for all the subjects, whether it is singular or plural, that doesn't matter, we use a did in common. So for all the pronouns, I, we, you, they, he, she and it. For all these pronouns we use basically did. Next you come to be verbs. There are five be verbs as I mentioned. Is, are, am, was, were. So here first three words is, are, am. These three are present tense and was, were. These two are past tense. So is is used for singular subject, or is used for plural subject, am is separately used for pronoun I. And when we take a past tense, we use was and were. Was is used for a singular subject, were is used for a plural subject. Finally, we take a have verbs, have, has, had. These three are uh, have verbs. 
here uh, first two words uh, have and has uh, these two are present tense uh, and uh, finally had is a past tense so has is used for a singular subject and have is used for plural subject then had is used for singular and plural for both we use had there is no difference between singular subject and plural subject so this is the clear analysis of three types of helping verbs do verbs be verbs and have verbs we have analyzed all the tenses in detail but we have omitted future tense so future tense is very simple we use only will for all the tenses in a future in the previous days we used shall for the pronoun i and we in the modern english we have reduced the usage of a shall for all the pronouns all the subjects we use will for future tense so future tense is very easy now you come to tenses here in this slide you can find the number of tenses first you should know the number of tenses there are 12 tenses simple present tense simple past simple future present continuous past continuous future continuous present perfect past perfect future perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous first you should know the 12 tenses and its name you should be very thorough with all these names next you come to the structure of each and every tenses here now you come to simple tenses simple tenses means simple present simple past simple future for simple tenses we use do helping verb do for simple present tense we use do or does plus verb this is the pattern for creating simple present tense do we use do for plural as i mentioned earlier and does we use for singular as i mentioned for simple past tense we use did plus verb and simple future will plus verb this is the pattern for simple tenses when we come to continuous tense the first thing we should remember is the verb should be in ing form whether it may be continuous or perfect continuous in both categories we use verb in ing form now you come to present continuous tense in this continuous tense we use be verb as helping verb present continuous tense we use is or am plus a verb ing and the pattern for a past continuous tense is was were plus verb ing for future continuous tense it is a different form because in the present continuous and past continuous we used different forms of be verbs future continuous tense comes under different category for a present continuous and past continuous we used the different forms of be verbs but in a future continuous we use be directly so to mention future tense we use will and to refer this is a continuous tense we use be plus verb ing so this is the pattern for future continuous so the, the pattern is will be verb ing next we come to present perfect tense present perfect means when we come to perfect tense the first thing we should remember is verb should be in past participle form that is a verb should be in third form for all the perfect tense it should be in past participle form so now you come to present perfect present perfect the helping verb is have has plus a verb past participle for past perfect tense we have had plus verb past participle next we come to perfect tense when we come to perfect tense the first thing you should remember is the verb should be in past participle form 
that means uh, verb should be in third form just like uh, when we uh, learnt continuous tense the verb should be in a ing form here the verb should be in past participle form this should be remembered for all the perfect tense we follow the same pattern so you should remember this so here for perfect tense we use have verb as a helping verb for present perfect tense we use have has plus verb past participle as the verb pattern for past perfect tense we use had plus verb past participle as pattern for a future perfect tense we use will have plus a verb past participle in a future perfect we don't have has as a helping verb we only use have as a helping verb and to mention it is in a future tense as i mentioned in the beginning of this lecture for all the future tense we use a will so will have plus a verb past participle finally we come to perfect continuous tense here we have two roles to be remembered one is this is in perfect tense another one this is in continuous tense as i mentioned for continuous tense we should use ing after verb and for perfect tense the verb should be in past participle form so here this is a combination of two tenses that is perfect continuous perfect continuous tense is a combination of two tenses so here uh, the helping verb we are using is have has this is to mention uh, this is perfect tense then we use been to mention that the verb is in past participle form then we use verb ing that is to mention that uh, this is continuous tense so in this uh, combination uh, we have to mention uh, two different uh, things then we come to present perfect continuous here the verbs are have has plus a been plus a verb ing then a past perfect continuous here the verb pattern is had plus a been plus a verb ing then finally the last tense is future perfect continuous here the verb pattern is will have been plus a verb ing here uh, there is a responsibility for each and every word uh, in the future perfect continuous will reflect a future tense and have reflects a, this is perfect tense and finally verb plus ing reflects a, this is a continuous tense so you cannot omit any word here if you omit a word here it may be a tense error so you should remember all these tenses this structure is more important this is like a skeleton of a grammar basically depends upon a tense we have other forms active passive voice for direct indirect it is very important so this table is more important you should be very thorough with this particular table this is the skeleton and as i mentioned the key points you should remember here is for continuous tense we should use ing form for perfect tense we should use verb in a past participle form and a perfect continuous you should mix both the things to get a better understanding i have given two examples for each and every tenses here so for that i have chosen two pronouns one for singular another one for a plural and i have chosen right as verb so now where you come to simple present tense simple present tense for he i write writes as example how writes comes he is a singular subject so i use a does as a helping verb then i am adding write as a verb so does plus write changes into writes so he writes at the same time for a plural form they write they plus do plus write do plus a write is a write there is no change there but a do is already there now you come to simple past tense did plus a verb so he wrote they wrote did plus write changes into wrote here there is no difference between singular and plural for both sentences we use same verb 
Then uh, third one is a simple future. As I mentioned, uh, will is uh, helping verb for all the future tense. So simply we can write, uh, he will write, they will write. Next we come to continuous tense. Present continuous is or am plus a verb ing. So first example, he is writing. So he is a singular, so that I am choosing uh, is as a helping verb and I am adding ing for a verb. Next, they are writing. They is a plural, so that I am using or and adding ing after write. If I use I, I will be saying I am writing. Next, you come to past continuous tense. Past continuous tense, we have a helping verb was, where and we are going to add ing after verb. So, he was writing and they were writing. So, he is a singular so that I have chosen was as a helping verb and for plural form they we use a where as a helping verb. Here one thing you should remember in the past tense, we generally use was after I. But uh, you know only one place we use where after I, uh, that is that comes under conditional class. That is the only place we use where after I. In all the other places we use was as a helping verb for I. Next you come to future continuous tense. So the verb pattern is uh, will be plus verb ing. So here uh, the examples are uh, he will be writing, they will be writing. Next you come to present perfect tense. Uh, the verb pattern is uh, has, have plus uh, verb past participle. So the examples are he has written. So written is in the third form that is a past participle form. Then uh, they have written has is for singular and have for a plural. Next you come to past perfect tense. Past perfect tense the verb pattern is had plus a verb past participle form. So the two examples are he had written, they had written. So in the past tense there is no difference for a singular and the plural subjects. Next you come to future perfect tense. The verb pattern is will have verb past participle. The two examples are he will have written, they will have written. Next you come to present perfect continuous tense. Here the verb pattern is has, have plus been plus verb ing. So the first example is he has been writing. Then the second example is they have been writing. Then uh, next you come to past perfect continuous. The verb pattern is uh, had plus uh, been plus uh, verb ing. The first example is uh, he had been writing. Then a uh, second example is uh, they had been writing. Finally we come to future perfect continuous. Here uh, the verb pattern is uh, will have been plus a uh, verb ing. So the first example is uh, he will have been writing. Then a second example is uh, they will have been writing. So now I feel that uh, you must have a thorough understanding about the structure and uh, all the helping verbs and all the tenses. Now you come to exercise. Here uh, you take the first exercise. She dash play tennis. The clue given here is you should use a present continuous here. When we come to this particular place, you should think very carefully. This is continuous tense. So after verb, you should add ing. So in the answer, you must have the word playing. Then a second one is this should be in a present tense. So please be very carefully answer this present tense. For continuous uh, tense, we use a be verb as a helping verb. So what are be verbs? Is, are, am. These three are present be verbs. So here the subject is a singular. So I select is as a helping verb. So she is playing tennis. This is the right answer. She is playing tennis. 
second one my mother dash cook lunch the answer should be in present perfect tense so what is the verb pattern for a present perfect has have plus a verb past participle so past participle form of a cook is a cooked so here uh, the subject is uh, my mother this is in a singular form so has uh, is a singular form has cooked so the answer is my mother has cooked lunch third one the principal dash ask the students to prepare well the answer should be in simple past so now you remember uh, the verb pattern for simple past uh, that is did plus verb so here uh, ask is a verb did plus ask that changes into asked so the principal asked the students to prepare well that is the answer fourth one the school dash reopen on september 15th this should be in a simple present so what is the verb pattern for simple present do does plus verb here the subject is a singular school it is not schools it is a singular so i choose does does plus reopen that changes into reopens so the answer is the school reopens on september 15th then a fifth example when i reached my friend's house he dash go the answer should be in past perfect tense now you think about the verb pattern of past perfect what is past perfect had plus verb in past participle form so here a verb is go so go went gone third form is gone so the answer should be in gone so past perfect so i use had plus gone so the answer is when i reached my friend's house he had gone next sixth exercise i dash work in this office since 1997 the answer should be in present perfect continuous what is the verb pattern for present perfect continuous has have plus been plus verb ing so here the verb is work and the subject is i so for i i choose have i have been working in this office since 1997 this is the correct answer then seventh one she dash eat an apple so the answer should be in past continuous tense now you think about the verb pattern of past continuous tense what is the verb pattern was were plus verb ing so here the verb is eat so she she is a singular so i choose was she was eating an apple this is the right answer the eighth exercise is he dash written tomorrow the answer should be in future continuous form so now you think about the verb pattern for a future continuous will be plus verb ing so here the verb is written so will be returning so the answer is he will be returning tomorrow so this is the answer then tomorrow i dash reach my house at this time so the clue given here is you should give answer in future perfect so what is the verb pattern for future perfect will have a verb past participle form so here the verb is reach so the answer should be will have reached so tomorrow i will have reached my house at this time now you come to last exercise he dash be my friend so here uh, the given a verb is a be in this place uh, we have to be very careful in uh, choosing uh, the helping verb here the clue given here is the answer should be in a simple past tense so b verbs what are b verbs now you should remember is are am was and were 
So what are uh, past B verbs was and where? So here uh, the subject is uh, he, since it is uh, singular you can choose was. So simply you can say he was my friend. Suppose if you want to write this in a simple present tense, you can uh, give the answer uh, he is my friend. So this is uh, the structure of uh, tenses. Uh, she dash play tennis. The clue given here is you should uh, use a present continuous here. When we come to this particular place, uh, you should uh, think very carefully. This is continuous tense. So after verb, you should add ing. So in the answer, you must have the word playing. Then a second one is, uh, this should be in a present tense. So please uh, be very carefully answer this. Present tense uh, or continuous uh, tense, we use a be verb as a helping verb. So what are be verbs? Is, are, am, these three are present be verbs. So here the subject is a singular, so I select is as a helping verb. So she is playing tennis. This is the right answer. She is playing tennis. Past be verbs was and were. So here the subject is a he. Since it is singular, you can choose was. So simply you can say he was my friend. Suppose if you want to write this in a simple present tense, you can give the answer he is my friend. So this is the structure of tenses. So when we learn the structure of tenses, first thing we have to be very clear with all the structure of the tenses. Then the second stage we should understand the rules of tenses that will be continued in the next lecture. Now I believe that uh, the structure of uh, tenses uh, uh, is understood by everyone. Uh, so first thing in a uh, tenses uh, is uh, structure. Now we have uh, completed that. Uh, second stage of understanding the learning process of uh, tenses uh, is uh, rules. So rules are uh, very important uh, because uh, where we should use a simple present, where we should use a simple past, there are rules. So without rules, we cannot apply uh, the structure. How much the structure is important, that much rules are also important. In the second part of a lecture, we will see what are the rules of tenses. So thank you so much.